Welcome back to the Banana Bunch. I hope you're ready for some penetration, or actually I should have said I hope you're ready for a lack of penetration because this is the world's weakest bullet. Believe it or not, this thing doesn't use any powder. It hurls a 20 grain projectile at a supposed 420 feet a second using nothing more than primer compound. Is this enough to be lethal though, and does the lack of powder also mean that this is the world's quietest bullet? So I brought a little decibel meter with the intentions of finding out, as well as comparing to some of the other weakest 22 loads available, but the thing is, I just don't see how these numbers are accurate. They seem way lower than they should be. But here are the averages that I got for each of the loads with and without a suppressor. So for those of you who don't believe that Hollywood quiet is possible, it seems to be possible all right. I mean definitely not with the guns that they're portraying in their movies and all that trash, but uh, with this setup it seems to be more than Hollywood quiet. Really doesn't matter though if it's not powerful enough to get the job done, so let's see how powerful it is thanks to our handy dandy chronograph. I don't know what was going on with those velocities. I don't even know if the chronograph knew what was going on with those velocities. I mean, I originally had it in slow pistol mode. That didn't pick anything up. Switched it over to air gun mode. That didn't pick anything up. So I took the freaking suppressor off and then I had to find the exact distance away from the chronograph that it needed to be, which allowed me to pick up two that came in about 20 feet a second faster than what the box was saying. It was pretty substantial, but if I'm being completely honest, I have seen a squirrel punch harder than that, especially those damn kung fu squirrels in my yard. The question I'd like to answer now though is, do we gain any more power out of a rifle. Just keep in mind, I don't think they recommend shooting these out of rifles because there's not a whole lot of pressure to work with, so the bullet might not get out of the end of the barrel here, which would create a very bad situation, especially if you followed it up with a full power 22 load after, but uh, I'll shoot it just for you guys. I mean, they at least made it out the end of the barrel, just not any faster than the pistol. In fact, we actually lost a few feet a second, so I guess that's more like a chipmunk punch or something. I don't know what else to equate it to, but I guess that means we'll be sticking with the squirrel punch gun to see how lethal this bullet is. And the first thing this squirrel needs to prove itself on is a pine board. A 5 8 inch pine board, to be more specific. If the bullet can make it through this, then I believe it could certainly be lethal. If not, we are really going to have to consider why this bullet exists. I guess we should probably make sure that our more powerful options are even up to the task, so let's start off with that super suppressed again. And I did want to let you know that I do all the editing on these videos. Is that why they suck? Possibly. I mean, the thing is, I just don't have a whole lot of time with my full-time job, so I've been using Raycon's everyday earbuds for close to a year now because they're noise-canceling, which helps me to avoid any distractions, basically. The only problem is they are so noise-canceling that it has me worried if a burglar assassin ever broke in, I wouldn't be able to hear them coming. Which is why I switched over to Raycon's essential open earbuds. These things sit right outside my ear, allowing me to hear basically everything that's going on while mostly focusing on what I have at hand. These things have virtually eliminated my very rational fear of a burglar assassin breaking in, and they also sound amazing too, which is a huge plus. So with Black Friday around the corner, I wanted to let you guys know that Raycon audio products are up to 30% off site wide. Now let me tell you guys, these early deals won't last long, so get yours before they're gone. Anyway, just click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash open to get up to 30% off site wide during their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. That's buy raycon.com slash banana ballistics open to get up to 30% off site wide. And thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Super suppressed time. Okay, if that didn't make it through, this is going to be one short video. Good shot placement right there. I don't think we need to check out the pinky hole or anything. That is way too small, but uh, let's check out the... Oh yeah, it went straight through. Keeping things in order. CCI quiet. Okay, so my goal was leaving as much room as possible on here, just in case we need to shoot a bunch of those Calibri rounds, but when I checked out the first shot, I believe it was far enough away, but I was like, you know what, let me do a second one just in case. That one came in freaking close as well, and then I uh, got one over here. So let's just make sure that the third one went through. Oh yes, it definitely went through. No problems here for the CCI quiet. Quiet time again, except not the regular CCI quiet this time around. This is the segmented version, which is my absolute favorite. It is absolutely brutal on small critters, but it usually doesn't result in the best penetration, so let's make sure it could go through this pine board. I would say that's far enough away from everything else, and based on what I saw, I believe, yep, it definitely went straight through. Sorry guys, the focus is a little bit off here, but uh, it definitely went straight through. Guess that leaves a calibri, or should I say the squirrel punch. I'm very worried that this is not going to be able to make it through. 
Gosh damn it. I mean, uh, I meant for it to hit right there. I wanted it to get as close as possible to another hole just to give it a better chance of going through. I mean, come on now, guys. And I don't know what to expect based on that hole. Let us check out the back and see. I don't think it went through, guys. Oh my gosh, I gave it the best chance possible. Let me try that one more time. Guys, you might not believe this if you heard it, but I am a trained sniper with those bullets. I mean, I put one in the same exact hole as the CCI Quiet. Purposely, too. No, just kidding. On the third shot down here, I realized that I was aiming up here and it was hitting low and to the right. I didn't realize that that was the bullet doing that. So obviously that one followed the same hole path. But uh, as we could see, the bullet is stuck there, there, and there. My gosh, these things don't have any power. Now, if I did it point blank, would that change anything up? Oh, that was loud. Oh, shit, that was loud. <laughs> the answer is no, that did not change anything up at all. In fact, it might be even less deep than the other one. I mean, that is not any deeper than the other ones at the very least. Wow. I was also not expecting to have to break this out. This is a piece of trim from our remodeling. Should be cut from a very similar type of pine, just a lot thinner. So we will see if the bullet can at least make it through this. If not, I don't even know anymore. It is literally like I'm shooting nothing. I don't understand how it made it through the rifle barrel. And I also don't understand how the bullet is sticking out past the edge of the wood right here. Is this a harder type of wood? I don't know. Guys, if this isn't pine board, then I don't know what it is. It cracked the back, but I don't understand how the bullet is still sticking out. I really didn't want to have to break this out, but this is an eighth inch piece of wood. I, if it doesn't make it through this, then I'm quitting the video now. Please don't go through. Please don't go through. I bet you can barely even hear that damn thing going off. And I believe it looked like some good news. Please let us carry on with the video. Oh yeah. Damn it. Yep, we made it straight through this. This bullet can carry on with testing. My gosh, that is impressive. Just kidding, it's not impressive at all. I have seen those damn squirrels cut through three of those with one karate chop, those damn kung fu squirrels. So I don't even know if we can consider this thing a squirrel punch anymore. That is how unpowerful it is. Still though, I think we should see how deep it could go into ballistic gel, just because I'm curious. I realize it's not the most accurate testing medium out there, but it should at least give us a pretty good idea of how deep this bullet would go into muscle tissue. Or should I say banana muscle tissue. Guys, I gotta come clean. The real reason that I wanted to test this bullet in the first place is because the banana bonanza bunch <laughs> is freaking hard to say. Anyway, they are threatening my way of life. For some reason, they seem to think that I'm stealing their thunder with my channel name, so they put a hit out on me to take me out. Little did they know that I hired someone to take them out before they get to me. The problem is they're all in the city, so this has to be done as quietly as humanly possible, which is why we're testing this bullet at all. Let's see if it's possible with the world's quietest bullet, but also the weakest, unfortunately. I don't even know why I decided to put hearing protection in that time around, but I was like, did that even go off? I mean, it definitely went off, but that is the tiniest hole I think I have ever seen, ever, ever. Yeah, definitely not getting a pinky in there. I don't even know if a mouse could get its pinky in that hole. Let's test check Oh my, what is that? Like two and a half inches of penetration. Two and a half, well, yeah, right at two and a half inches of penetration. It looks like it came all the way out to three and a half inches and then pulled itself back a little. Is freaking two and a half inches of penetration enough for an evil group of bananas? I, I don't know. I, I haven't shot one before. <laughs> I mean, I just don't see that as being a viable option. Let's see how deep all the other weakest bullets can go, starting with the segmented one. Remember, this thing freaking segments into three different sections, three different, much smaller sections. So if it goes deeper than that calibri round that is pathetic That one at least sounds like it hits with some force. And the hole already appears to be slightly better, maybe. Yeah, still terrible. I mean, it's a freaking subsonic, ultra subsonic 22. The wound channel, man, what did I tell you? This is my favorite quiet round right here. That wound channel is absolutely nasty. And uh, here, okay, okay. The Calibri round is absolutely pathetic. All three of those pedals went way deeper than the Calibri round, right at about five inches. So exactly double that freaking Calibri round. And I mean, it's not even that much louder. Now here's where we bump up the penetration game. This is the regular CCI Quiet. It is a lead solid, if you remember, so who knows how deep it's gonna go. It's
it seemed to sound the exact same as the last CCI Quiet, but I am betting we got some better penetration. Oh, I believe it collided with one of the uh, segments of the segmented rounds, so that might have limited its penetration a little bit. Let me try that one more time. All right, better shot placement this time around. I'm not even going to put my pinky in that hole. The wound channel looks pretty similar. Let's check it out from the... T oh, yeah. Basically a mirror image. Keeps going. Well, doesn't keep going quite as deep as I thought it would, but probably about an inch and a half, which is pretty substantial given the low amount of power. Let's check out how deep both those went. Okay, so the first one came in right at about seven and three-eighth inches. Holy shit, that bird scared me. <laughs> seven and three-eighth inches. The second one came in right at about eight and five-eighth inches. So I guess that leaves us with one bullet, the loudest bullet of the day, but also the most powerful by far. 45 grains of true subsonic power. Let's try out that super suppressed. I figured that the first one probably hit into one of the segmented pieces, so I went ahead and shot a second one as a precautionary measure. Oh yeah, I believe that definitely hit into one of the segmented pieces. The second one up here was much better. The pinky hole's nothing to write home about. The wound channel, I mean, look at that freaking wound channel. If that was a banana, it would have gotten split in freaking half. Holy shite balls, that must have been tumbling in there. That one came in right at about the 11 and 3 quarter inch mark, if I'm I'm seeing that correctly. The other one came in right at about the 11 inch mark. Holy shite ball, that is some massive penetration for really not that much more noise. I mean, I'm not saying that it's Calibri quiet or anything. Holy shit, get down, get down, get down. How the hell did they find me all the way out here? They must have put a tracker on my phone. And what the hell happened to that hitman? I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands, but the problem is I'm only loaded up with those stupid Calibri rounds. I guess that'll have to be better than nothing, because I gotta take matters into my own hands. I'm the only real banana in these parts, and it's time you guys go away for good. Oh shit, I forgot that this thing doesn't cycle with these. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, shit. no, 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 we can work things out, guys. We can work things out. Remember, nobody even liked Tony anyway. I'd get it, I did you guys a favor. Wait. Wait, what are you doing with those guns? No, 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 please! Good thing I hired a backup. Anyway, can the world's weakest bullet be lethal? I mean, it's definitely not a toy, don't get me wrong, but based on everything that we've seen, it seems like it would need to be one hell of a shot placement, especially compared to every single other bullet that I've ever tested. And remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas. Mm -hmm.